Hello students and welcome to your own channel. We are here again uh, and this is the last chapter of first snapshot. If any chapter is missed, please do comment so I will prepare MCQs for them. This is for class 11th and it is for the chapter The Tale of the Melon City. Let's quickly start the MCQ. First MCQ, what sort of principles seem to thrive in the state? Lazis fair, authoritative, communistic or democratic? The answer for this is the laissez fair. So you will be it will be easy for you to remember because it's a different word. So remember it's laissez fair. Let's go to the next MCQ. How does the writer describe the king? Arrogant, egocentric, just and placid or merciful? So we know in the chapter the king is actually just and placid. So the correct answer for this is just and placid. Let's go to the next question. What sort of perception does the public hold for their chosen king after so many years? They are enraged. They don't like him. They like him very much or they have no problem whatsoever. So children just like the king. The public was also like that. They have no problem whatsoever. Do whatever what you want. Let's go to the next question. Finally, who was tall enough to reach the news? The king, the chief of the builders, the architect or someone from the crowd. So children, you know, the news is where you hang a person. So they were trying to uh, find a person who would reach the news and they will hang them. Whether that person is guilty or has made any mistake or not, irrelevant of that. So in this chapter, the only person who was tall enough to reach the news was the king. So the king who was to choose the next king, the ministers, the heir of the deceased king would be the king by rule or the next to pass the city gate or the public. So again, this is very funny. So they said, who will choose the king? They said, anybody who will pass the city gate, gate next will be choosing the next king. So next to choose, next to pass the city gate will choose the next king. Next question. The ministers were foolish to ask an idiot about their next king. Do you agree? Partially. No. Not clear from the poem or yes. Obviously, if someone is an idiot, why would you ask uh, that idiot to decide? So ministers were foolish. Just like the king. Who did the chief of builders blame? The architect, the masons, the public or the workmen? So children, uh, when the chief of builders were uh, brought in front of king regarding the arc uh, right, problem, they blamed the workmen. They said the workmen who built, they made this error. So they blamed the workmen. Why did the king's crown fall? Because he lost his balance? Because the arch was built too low? Because the crown was heavy? Or because he was attacked? And the correct answer for this is, because the arch was built too low. That's why it fell down. Next question. The tale of the Melon City is written by Amitav Ghosh, Idris Shah, Vikram Seth or Arundhati Roy. The answer is Vikram Seth. You will have to remember this. Next question. What impression do you form of the crowd of the state? They were of no good, both supportive and indifferent. They were supportive of their king. They were indifferent who was throned. And uh, the answer for this is they were both supportive and indifferent. You'll have to remember this. It's a tricky one. <clears throat> this is a disgrace. What was a disgrace? Crown being stroked, unenthusiastic crowd, poorly built arched or none of the above or none of these options. The answer is disgrace was the crown being stroked. You know when the king's crown touched the arch and it got stroked? That was a disgrace. Next question. Who was chosen as a new king? A horse, a minister, a sword or a melon? This is also very funny. In this chapter we know what the title itself has a melon word. So it will be easy for you to guess. Yes, a melon was chosen as a new king. Who according to the council was the culprit that was brought before the king? The crown, 
the arch the king or the chief of the builders so they according to the council the culprit was the arch because arch touched the crown so it was brought before the king what did the king order to be constructed a tomb an arch a building or a footsteps so we know it was an arch that's an easy one let's go to the next one <clears throat> after reading the tale of the melon city what opinion do you form of the king matlab ki aapke hisab se king kaisa tha he was a wise king he was a foolish king he was a rule abiding king or he was a just king so we know the king was foolish so he was a foolish king let's go to the next question what is the genre of the tale of the melon city both humorous and ironical thriller humorous or ironical so we know it is a humorous uh, uh stories and it is also ironical so both humorous and ironical let's go to the next one what was the purpose of the construction ordered by the king to improve viewers morally to solidify the king's rule to continue a legacy or to carry out a ritual you know the order to construct an arch what was the purpose the purpose was to improve viewers morally next question according to the architect who made the amendments the king the masons the chief of the builders or he himself the answer is the king as per the architect the amendments were made by the king what reason did the workmen give to the king time provided was less instructions given were wrong changes were made by the last at the last point or bricks were of the wrong side so when uh, uh, builders blamed workmen that because of them <coughs> this issue has come the ark was built low so workmen told and they gave the reason that bricks were of the wrong size that's why it was built incorrectly let's go to the next question what order did the king give after the incident he ordered to summon the architect he ordered to hang the chief of builders he ordered workmen to be hanged or he ordered to gather all the people <clears throat> so after the incident when the uh, king's crown touched the arch and it fell down and everything happened the order which king gave was to hang the chief of builders so he ordered to hang the chief of builders ki sabko hang kar do inhone galat banaya hai do you think that the king took his notion of justice too far maybe yes he lost his life in this process no he did what a just king would do cannot determine so yes i think the notion of justice was taken too far by the king because in this process he lost his own life so yes he lost his life in this process next one <clears throat> why did the idiot reply the way he did because he liked melons because he knew how to use the sword because he rode horses or because he grew melons so no idiot was asked who should be the next king and he says melons so why why did the idiot reply like that he did that because he liked melons <clears throat> what was the public demand that the king sought to fulfill they wanted a hanging they wanted a new king they wanted no one to be hanged or they wanted the arch to be demolished so after all this the public demanded that they they once should be hanged so they wanted a hanging that was the king's problem to you know fulfill what happened when the king rode down the thoroughfare no one was impressed the king's crown fell or the crowd cheered or it's not mentioned in the story so we all know when the king rode down the thoroughfare the king's crown fell next question who passed the city gate an old wise man a child an idiot or a beggar so we know in the previous mcq it was the idiot who was asked who should be the next king so and the person who should pass the city gate first should be asked so who passed the city gate an idiot next question why was it shameful to hang the arch because it was newly built because it had touched the king's head because it was innocent or because it was non living so you know the justification when uh, in the chapter it says art should not be hang or it should be shameful to hand the arch because it had touched the king's head so 
किंग के सर को टच किया है तो उसको रिस्पेक्ट देनी चाहिए टू बी शेम फुल टू हैंग इट जस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर ऑल द कंसिडरेशन एंड डिस्कशन द क्राउड वॉज गेटिंग एम्यूज बोर्ड हॉरीफाइड और रेस्टलेस सो लाइक ऑल द पब्लिक एंड ऑल द क्राउड द क्राउड वॉज गेटिंग रेस्टलेस लिसनिंग अबाउट हिज ओन हैंगिंग हो डिड द किंग कॉल फॉर द वाइजेस्ट मिनिस्टर इन हिज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द ओल्डेस्ट मैन इन द कंट्री और द वाइजेस्ट मैन इन द कंट्री और ऑल दीज पीपल सो वेन किंग हर दैट ही वुड बी हैंगड ही कॉल्ड फॉर द वाइजेस्ट मैन इन द कंट्री टू गेट एडवाइस इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू रिमेंबर दैट हाउ वॉज द पब्लिक डिमांड फुलफिल्ड बाय द किंग्स डिस्क्रिप्शन बाय मेजरिंग हाइट वन बाय वन बाय द काउंसिलर्स डिसीजन और बाय वोटिंग सो द पब्लिक डिमांड टू हैंग सम वॉज फुलफिल्ड बाय मेजरिंग हाइट वन बाय वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू द पब्लिक ऑफ द स्टेट their involvement in state decisions their wealth how the state is ruled or their peace and liberty so children this is the last mcq of this chapter and most likely the last chapter of snapshot for class 11 so if uh, you are liking it please do like subscribe and share these videos and comment for any suggestions and the answer for this is the most important to the public was nothing else but their peace and liberty ke bhaiya हमारे घर में शांति रहे हमारी आज़ादी को कुछ प्रॉब्लम ना आए सो द आंसर इज द पेयर देयर पीस एंड लिबर्टी एंड आई होप दीज एम सी क्यूज आर हेल्पिंग यू एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जाम्स एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट इन बेस्ट इन योर लाइफ थैंक यू